Hi Sharon. Here, I'm creating a, a little bit easier video regarding the next gen ga gallery. I think the last ones that I made with the FTP and stuff were a little bit confusing. So I've actually gone through and done the process all through the back end and now I'm going to make a screener to show you an example of it. So what I'm doing here is um, I've got... Now I have to find it. Okay. I've taken two of the pictures from the 2010 guest directory and I've downloaded the pictures so I've got all the pictures in here and I'm just choosing two of them so one of them is 15.jpg and the other one is 5.jpg I just grabbed them out of there and I've chosen keyword phrases to go along with them so I'm going to upload them, watermark them, resize them and put them into a gallery and stuff like that okay so first of all we're going to go into here into galleries. Now we don't have any galleries. You can actually add a new gallery from here. So I'm going to call it guest, uh, 2010 guest photos. Okay. And I'll let it create that. Okay. Now we have that. Now if I go into here, I can't add anything to this gallery through this, this portion here. What I have to do is go to add gallery images and I go into there. So now what we can do here is add as many files as we want to upload at once and determine where to upload it. So I'm going to tell it to upload to here and I'm going to browse my directories and I have to find where it is. Pardon the weird layout. Okay, I'm not used to that layout. Sites, Pine Sense at Large, Site Goodness. Okay, down here. 2010 guest. Okay, so number five. And also, I want 15. So I'm going to hold down shift. If I hold down shift, it marks all of them. So I don't want that one. So hold down control instead. And that will mark individual ones. So now I've got two of them marked. And I do open. And it puts them both into here. You can see that they're going to be uploaded. They're not uploaded yet. Um, Okay, well that's all I want. I haven't actually renamed them though, so well I guess I better go back and do that renaming. So let's really quickly go back to the file names here and rename them. So this one is the lady with the blueberries. So I'm going to say uh, where to pick blueberries. Okay, and I'm putting dashes instead of spaces. And then the number 15 one, I'm going to say beautiful lake get out of my way so I can see what I'm doing. Sunset. Okay, so no spaces, all lowercase dashes there. So now what I'll do is go back to here and say, no, I don't want to upload those ones. So, but the ones I want to upload are where to pick blueberries and beautiful lake sunset. Okay, so now it's going to go into the guest photos, upload images. It uploads them and then creates uh, thumbnails. And don't worry about the error. I'll check that out, but I don't think it's a big deal because it doesn't actually interfere with anything. Okay, so now when we go back into Manage Gallery, you can see that now there are two images in the gallery. So we go into there. And now the process of um, putting the watermark on and resizing it. Now I've already done the watermark configuration and I can go through that in a different configuration, different video. But uh, just really quickly, to resize them, they're already 628 by 471. I'm going to resize the images and apply that. And okay, well, uh, I'm not sure why I came up with that other than maybe that's what I previously had. So I'm just going to change it so it's 500. And I don't think this really matters because I think it'll fix it itself. So I'm going to test that out. Say okay. And it's resizing the images. And it's reloading the page. Okay, and now there we go. So 500 pixels, and it figured out the second part there. So now that we've done the first part, we've re uh, resized it. Now we mark them again, and we can set the watermark and apply. Now this set this. You want to do this? It's going to edit them, and it says it's permanent, but we can take a little step back. Okay, and it reloads. And real quick, I'll load it up, and you can see the watermark down here. Now I'll have to go to a second video to do anything further.